All right, so today we're going to be uh, going down to Burley Heads and uh, painting a mural for the guys. I wanted to do something that's uh, iconic to Burley. Um, if anyone's familiar with the area, they would know that the rainbow lorikeets squawk like crazy out there, but they're a beautiful bird, um, an Australian classic. So um, I'm going to utilize this image um, and recreate it, put some twist on it, um, make something nice for uh, the people of Burley. So let's go into my paint shed, print these references off and uh, pick out my colors. Pack the car up and let's head over there. This is my art studio. This is where all the magic goes down. Pretty nice to have an art shed at your home. Joys of working hard and reaping the benefits. So yeah, this is my art studio. A couple of works in progress. Uh, L, my apprentice, he's not going to be with us next year, so I wanted to paint it as something nice. This is a little work in progress. I did start a trial run that uh, it didn't go according to plan, so I decided to restart that piece. Um, here's a bird that I painted recently and got me pumped on painting really colorful birds. Let's just pick out some colors that will get us started today. I plan on making this a two day mural just because it's gonna be pretty hot today and um, I just don't wanna kill myself out there, so let's see what we got here. All right, so we're gonna need some black. True magenta, cherry I used that the other day, that worked out nicely. Poppy reds, can't go wrong. Boom, that's nice. That's nice. That's pretty. Oosh, those are nice. That's nice. I think that looks like a pretty decent kit to get us started. That looks like a kit to move. Yeah boy, yeah boy. <laughs> and that one looks like it pops. I reckon that'll about do it, boys. We're gonna need some caps, aren't we? Da -da -da -da. Who's got caps? I've got caps. Yeah. Stockies, my favorite. Can never have enough stockies. Shout out to Adrian for the stencil caps. Probably won't use them, but I'm gonna take it anyway. That'll do donkey. This one I'm gonna to give to my mate Wade, so make sure we don't put this video out before he gets back. He, um, he's a free man, and uh, so I painted this of his dog, Achilles, he just got, it's his best friend, so uh, this is gonna be a gift that I'm gonna give him. This was the very first time I actually used airbrush to uh, complete a piece, so that was interesting, a bit of a learning process, but I think overall it came up all right. Yay, I love painting. <laughs> it's a good day. Got our reference, cute little birdie. <laughs> the owner of this wall is a legend, his name's Greg. Just a proper ocker dude, nice Aussie fella. He um, he reached out, for his daughter actually uh, knows me from a few years back and she recommended me to do this wall. And um, the absolute legend has been so patient. I've been such a busy man, I haven't been able to get around to it for over a year and he's reserved the wall for me for well over a year now, so um, thanks Greg. <laughs> Alright, we're here, on site. Let's do it. Something like super baggy. Um, the whole wall. I wanted to do something to keep it with the theme of Burley. So um, I focused on the rainbow lorikeet. We're gonna go along the lines of this, so. Yeah. Um, trees and everything. Gonna put the trees and everything in the background. I'm gonna put the circle where the uh, rainbow lorikeet's coming out of. I'm gonna put that in there, the rainbow lorikeet. That's gonna pop with the most amount of color and then everything behind it's gonna be quite neutral and saturated. <laughs> Slip, slop, slap, guys. Safety first, remember that. I'm gonna do a little bit of a redesign now because it's half the size of what we thought. Which may not be a bad thing because it's pretty hot today. Because it's daytime and I don't have a projector to project onto this, I'm going to do what's called a doodle graph. Basically, if you remember when you were a kid, you could do it like a graph of a something and then you could resize it and redraw it. It's the same thing, so I'm going to take a photo, I'm going to overlap it over what I've already drawn and squiggle it on the wall, and I'm going to change the opacity so that I can see through that photo and see the photos in between, and then I can draw my bird back on top and I can use the squiggles that I've done on the wall to line up what I've drawn there, so it gives me an indication and get things right in proportion-wise. 
lies between the wide waters of the Narang River and the Pacific Ocean. This is the modern Australian's idea of paradise. They call it the Gold Coast. At all times when I'm flipping, bar sipping, car dipping, grant wood grain gripping, still tipping on still four tipping on four this is no is no Alright, so we finished pretty late last night, so we came back in the afternoon to get some final shots of it. Pretty happy with how it turned out. Gonna write my name on it so people know I did it. It's my dedication to Burley, this uh the rainbow lorikeets are notorious around here. If you're here in the afternoons, you hear them go crazy. So, the ground represents that they're sort of the king of this area. And it's, uh, yeah, it's the native bird for around here. I'm pretty happy to have done that for Burley. That looks amazing. Thank you. I got killers, squirrelers, drug fucking dealers. Okay. Rob it out your villa in this old way. I be stressed out, bitches at my house cause I'm lonely. Keep a blick up on my side and one for my homie. Kill tech with the shell tops for your skelly. Bust it out your brain and watch your eyes come out only. Wife beat on my body, nigga, fuck it.